Hello everyone. Now we will see rise and fall method used in leveling. This is our ground. Let A, B, C are the three points on the ground. Position your instrument somewhere so that all three points can be observed. First, keep your staff at A whose reduced level is 100 meter and observe the reading which is found to be 1.420. Now move to B station and take the reading. It is found to be around 0 0.780. Now go to C and take the staff reading which is 1.230. Rise or fall indicates whether your ground rises or falls when you move from one station to another. Hence, rise or fall is equal to previous staff reading minus present staff reading. Here, when you move from A to B, ground ha level has raised. As per our formula, staff reading at a minus staff reading at B gives you 0.64 which is a positive value. Hence it is rise. It is to be noted here that whenever ground level increases between station, staff reading decreases. Finally, RL of B is equal to RL of A plus rise which gives you 100.640 meters. Similarly, let us calculate RL of C using rise or fall method. As indicated above, rise or fall is equal to previous staff reading minus present staff reading. So, 0.78 minus 1.23 gives minus 0.45 which is a fall. It is also evident from the figure that when you move from B to C, ground level decreases. Hence, RL of C is equal to RL of B minus fall which gives you 100.190 meter. To get practiced, let us solve a problem. The same problem was solved using HA method as well in our channel. You can get its link from the description below. Here is our question with set of staff readings mentioned. Here, the instrument is shifted after 3rd, 6th and 8th reading and the first reading was observed above the benchmark. Now, open a table. First column is mentioned as station number, then back side, intermediate side, fourth side and then rise, fall, RL and finally you can enter remarks as well. Let A be the benchmark. Here, the first reading was taken above the benchmark. So, it is a back side as it is taken above the station of known RL. With the same position, second reading was taken right 1.605 under intermediate side column. Instrument is shifted after third reading. Hence, 0.99 is foresight. After foresight, to establish connectivity, Backside was taken at the same station. So, write 2.090 under backside column. 2.865 is an intermediate site. Then, 1.260 is taken after which the instrument is shifted. Hence, it is a foresight. To proceed leveling further, backside 0.6 is taken at the same station. After 1.980, instrument is shifted. Hence, it is a foresight. As explained earlier, 1.045 is a backside again and 2.685 is our last reading which is a foresight as leveling must always be closed at foresight. Let us name the remaining stations as B, C, D, E, F and G. Here, C, E, F are change points shortly mentioned as CP here in your remarks column. You can solve your problem without drawing the profile. For better understanding, let us draw the profile. Keep your benchmark here. Mention the backside reading observed at A which is 
2.230 as such. As you move from A to B, staff reading decreases. Hence, ground level rises. So, this may be your B's location. Intermediate site observed at B is 1.605. From B to C, again staff reading drops down. Hence, the profile rises. At same C, back site was observed which was 2.09. From new instrument position, staff reading at D is taken which is greater than that of the backside at C. So the ground at D will be in a lower position. In similar fashion, plot the remaining profile as well. Join them, you will get the profile completely from A to G. Now we will do the calculation. As mentioned in the beginning, rise or fall is equal to previous staff reading minus present staff reading. Hence, backside 2.23 minus 1.605 gives a positive value of 0.625 which is a rise. Again, 1.605 minus 0.99 gives you 0.615. If you subtract 2.090, minus 2.865 you could get minus 0.775 hence it is must be tabulated under fall continue the calculations at remaining stations as well till the last point rl of unknown station is equal to rl of preceding station pressure minus rise or fall Therefore, RL of B is equal to RL of your benchmark A station plus 0.625 which gives you 433.010. Similarly, RL of C is equal to RL of B preceding station plus 0.615 that gives us 433.625. At D we got found so subtracted from RL of C, so you will get 432.850. Hi hope you can do calculations for remaining RLs too using rise and fall method. Find the difference between last RL and first RL which gives you minus 0.95. Get summation of back side and summation of foresight which is 5.965 and 6. 915 respectively. Summation of rise gives you 2.845 and uh, summation of fall. Hence, summation of backside minus foresight is also equal to minus 0.95 and summation of rise and minus fall is equal to minus 0.95. Here, summation of backside minus summation of foresight is equal to summation of rise minus fall which is also equal to last RL minus first RL. Hence our calculations are arithmetically correct. It is to be noted here that these checks will not eliminate observational error that could have occurred in the field. Rise and fall method is actually better than HA method as it provides three arithmetic check and calculation errors in intermediate station can also be accounted.